Alrighty. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it feels like it's been so long since I've last streamed because I don't stream on the weekends usually. I'm so excited to play more. How's everyone doing? Everyone having a good time? Hopefully the day was I treated everyone nicely. Alright, uh, let's just jump into it, shall we? Load up our save, get everything set up. Every single time I record uh, Outbreak with Keith, because we have to use a slightly different version of the emulator, it messes up all of my keybinds. So I have to, <laughs> I have to completely redo everything <laughs> every single time I start start the game up. But uh, I think we're good. I think things are correct. Is this right? Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. So let's see. Uh, Good Cat says ghosts are scary, but are they as scary as sand? No, they're not. <laughs> Kettle Chip says it's been ages. I literally hung out with you last night, Kettle. Sure, surely you've had enough of me by now. Narik says, working on data mining homework. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Gotta be a, a cool, like, subject. Old film in the camera obscura. Musty film. Alright. Oh yeah, we, we did this last time, didn't we? I got uh, a little of the ways in and then died or something. <laughs> I don't remember the specifics. Before we answer that, let's walk uh, and get the, the photos developed. I don't want I don't want like the next part of the mission to to start. I don't remember if that was what triggered it, but. A crowd of people is standing around Yoshino Takigawa, apparently berating her for something. Maybe they're connected to her accident somehow. All right. Men in white. In this photo, a group of men are standing in a line around some kind of sacred tree. Looks like a commemorative photograph. That's interesting. I remembered that picture. I couldn't. I didn't remember the the Takigawa one. Oh yeah, this is the spooky one. Shineba yokatta no ni. It would have been better if I had died. I think that was Takigawa calling. I wanted to search the house for uh for ghosts. Because I thought maybe there was one last time. Yes, there is. Oh no, my I knew I was going to run into this. Uh, I just have to rebind some of the controls. Give me a second. Uh, control, plugin settings. We'll just go back from the start. Uh, let's see. Kettle Chip says, I missed last stream, but after watching those vids you sent, I have opinions. Oh, is that right? What, uh, what did you feel? How did you feel about them? I really liked the videos, even though I didn't necessarily agree with the um some of the higher praise given to fatal frame one but overall i i like them quite a bit i really like nitro rad's channel especially he's like probably my my favorite like long time uh not even survival horror but just like 
YouTube review channel. Dutchup says, Nitro Rad was rad and felt more honest, or at least aligned with how I felt. Yeah, that makes sense. I think, uh, you know, not to speak out of turn about <laughs> someone who I am literally acquainted with, but uh, Ragnar gives things a, a really huge benefit of a doubt. He, he, he goes to great lengths to, to read the best in things. So it... Uh, Oh, there's nothing there. Interesting. Uh, he does his best to read, like, the most charitable read into things possible. So he was clearly a lot more into Fatal Frame 1 than I was. Uh, and I think his Fatal Frame 2 video, at least, is... It, it brings up some really good points about how, like, uh, you know, playing it in the modern day, it, it still feels pretty solid. Um, so... That's spooky. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, I really, I really like both of those videos, and I'm really looking forward to watching their videos on on the rest of the series once we finish three. Fatal Frame three so far has been very easily my favorite. I I am enjoying it a lot. <laughs> mm. I guess we can just go back upstairs now. Was that Takigawa? That's what it looked like. Kettle says, I thought it was interesting how originally Fatal Frame 1 wanted you to not have a means of self-defense. It makes K and his shit cam skills somewhat interesting to me. Yeah, definitely. It definitely feels that way, right? Like, the, the camera obscura, I think, could very easily suffer power creep, for lack of a better word, because each game is adding more mechanics, each game is doing new things. So it's it's it would have been very possible for uh, the the camera itself just from by nature of of getting new features with every game becoming too strong so i i think that the approach to the way the different cameras feel with the characters uh is really interesting like genuinely unique zek says hi toaster and all hi zek welcome thanks so much for coming to watch an image of something has been caught on the photo We already explored here last time, and I what I came to the conclusion that I couldn't uh, couldn't take a picture of anything in there. So is that a enemy? No, just a just a ghost. Nothing will be left behind. No kusarerendo. Gwyn says hello, chat. Hello, Gwyn. Welcome. Is there anything here for me to interact with? I forget. We need to go, I think, to one of the, the doll rooms, right? That's where we fought like a boss last time. Is that correct? Is that where I died? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, Get me off of a video game for three days and I completely forget anything that's happening in it, apparently. Right, let's do our best. See where this leads. Oh yeah, this room. Was there anything here for Miku? I don't think there was. Yeah, it's it's sealed. Gotcha. Nothing we can do in here, I don't think. Unless there's an item on the far side. Doesn't look like it. Good, we're being thorough.
I think uh, one of the things we learned last time, right, was don't uh, <laughs> don't waste all of my time fighting ghosts in the the comb lady's room because it ended up not actually paying off to anything. Where's that? That would lead us outside. I thought it was the other one, the the Western doll altar or whatever that we fought the ghost in. I just don't remember where that is. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just in here. Nope, <laughs> okay. I guess we just go back to the tatami room, right? That's this one? Go down the hall, pick up the camera, or not the camera, the film. Oh, wait, no, there's the crawl space ghost that I have to be careful of this time and not waste literally all of my film fighting. <laughs> I forgot about this part. We'll get this. I'll be much better at this this time, hopefully. That's my goal, at least. All right, we'll move forward. Taffia says, no, I forgot. What'd you forget, Taff? Welcome to the stream. Cliff Notes, what did you miss? Absolutely nothing so far. I remember I died last time, last stream. So I started over. We are about to go back into the crawl space and fight the crawl space ghost. This annoying motherfucker. easier to move in first person here because I can use both sticks. It's like legacy controls when I am not using the camera, uh, but when I am in the camera, it's just a first person shooter. So. <laughs> there we go. Okay, frame. No, ah, same thing happened this time. This ghost has weird hitboxes. Weird crawl space girl tries to tell you about her hyperfixation. Up, up here in a second. Where the hell is she? There she is. Being a weirdo. You can't even hit me. <laughs> Gwen says I'm the weird crawl space girl. I just imagine she's like here to tell me horse facts. I like low key don't actually want to fight her, but it feels like I have to because I can't escape. The yeah, we tried last time, didn't we? We have to kill her because if we if we don't, then. Uh, I can't make it, yeah, I can't interact with that. Out of my face, lady. Where is she? Ah, she's, she's being a weirdo. She's crawling on the ceiling. Such a weird boss. <laughs> I don't know if there's a good way to do this. I'll do it. Oh, 
And I got I got plenty of healing, so it's fine. There we go. We wasted way less ammo this time. Good, good on us. Right, shotgun ammo never fails. There's something in here. There is. There's a picture in here I gotta take. Wasn't it like on the ceiling or something? Wasn't it weird like that? It was just like directly point the camera directly upward, like right here. Let me heal up really quick. That should be fine. Half health is good. Half health is a win. Huh. Let's see. What does this do? Oh, I can't get back up? Okay, whatever. I just missed that. That special ghost. It's fine. What was this? On the candlelit altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm. Purity stone. L. Blue. There is a book on the altar. Green diary. Amane led a man into the shrine. The head of the family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken and the rift will spread. The Emily head teaches all the handmaidens so hard that they won't fit their duties. The head of the family ordered that Amane be impaled and that her brother be cast out of the manor. Because of the duties of the handmaidens and the duties of the Kuze shrine, there was no other choice. Amane, I'm sorry. Eh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then this goes. This is the one I remembered. Go. Just need to remember not to negative edge, uh, or, or try to not to negative edge every single shot like I did last time, because that was a quick way to accidentally waste all of my ammo. Oh. <laughs> You basically have to keep the button held down from the first shot that you get for it to, to charge accurately. Like that. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She's pretty far. Yeah, there she is. Ah. That was weird. Five hit combo, that's not bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can just finish her off with some type 14. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. Man, Miku's so swole. <laughs> Miku and Ray both. I mean, Ray Ray hits like a tank, but Miku her her charge is so quick. All right. I'll just use. Oh, well, I don't want to use all of it, but we're doing better on ammo this time, which is good for us. <laughs> good cat says Miku has deafness. Yes, exactly. Let's see. We're moving forward. Oh no, this is the room with the this ghost, right? The the one that's just like weirdly like looking at a pole that doesn't look like anything. It's right here. 
Where is that? Nikki. I can't remember if it's like technically something in the room above me. Right there. I just have to get into a position where it lets me take the actual picture. <laughs> I can see it light up, but it might be just easier to move forward, not worry about it right now. Yeah, it's like right there, I think. So we can just get the picture here. Not bad. Hate the way how some of the bodies move and some of them don't. Ugh. Imagine just killing two fuck uh two fucked up scary ghost girls and then just staring at a ceiling for a while. <laughs> Shooting pictures of the ceiling and swearing that there's something there. All right, that is handled. Let's see. There's a light burning on the altar where there's an offering on a wooden stand and two pairs of holly branches. Maybe they were used for some kind of ceremony. All right, we have a few more ceremony notes uh to to catch up on. Doll altar. A room full of red dolls nailed to the walls with stakes. This is not the only one of these rooms inside the manor. What is the meaning behind those rooms? Behind those dolls? Men in white. The men in ragged white robes and tall cord hats. In the photo where the man holding a hatchet and hiding his face appeared, they were standing in line as though for a commemorative photo. They were holding carpentry tools. Maybe they had something to do with building the house. And then after. Dot, dot, dot. Ominous. Spooky. The old book tells how a family named Moria, marked by the tattoo, killed the shrine carpenters after they had built the manor. Then ended... Then ended by making themselves into taboo pillars or sacrificial pillars. All except one, the new master builder. We did... We, re we read that note last time. That said, basically, it's up to the, the master builder's responsibility to teach people how to become pillars or whatever in the future. Uh, and then sacrificially, they all kill themselves and uh, basically serve as like a seal. Oh, fuck. Akigawa, get out of here. Oh, well, I got a picture of her. Oh, wait, this isn't Takigawa. This is the the annoying that lady. Camera is just not charging this time, huh? There we go. Doing a lot of damage, but not actually getting much out of it this time. Go. That's go see we're doing much better now <laughs> much much less concerned all right there was something else in here wasn't there uh, there's a picture of one of the devs kids I think right there we missed out about uh, what a thousand spirit points for not taking the other pictures I think but it's not really a big deal or maybe only 500 because I just skipped one of them. I don't. I don't really remember the specifics. Oh, I guess there is nothing in there. I thought there was something. Oh, but we can go up here and get the herbal medicine, right?
Good Cat says green herbs. I wish. I wish we had the red, green, blue system in here so I could just mix stuff. Right. Um, there is something I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted to upgrade the camera. Or uh, see if I could at least. I can. What does stone do? Slows movements of all ghosts, charges can be stored at two stages. If powered up, second charge takes less time. Ah. I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. Uh, there we go. That's the next one. We want to do more damage. God, I hate this woman. How did that not fatal frame? What the heck? Oh yeah, Miku has no range. That's the big issue there. Oh, she's gonna send her little head, uh, Medusa heads at me, right? No? Okay. There she is. Founder. Resident Evil characters just have to eat their spinach, all right? It's fine. If it works for Popeye, it works for them. Oh. Kind of came out of nowhere. Akito-sama. Who's Akito? Have we met uh, Akito yet? Purple Diary 2. His parting gift was a forbidden child. The child had handsome features just like he did. If he stays in this place, they'll cast him away once he turns four. I have to find a way to sneak into the village below before then. If I give him the earring his father gave me, I'm sure he will come back someday. He'll be able to hear my voice. I may even be able to see his father again if he finds his earring. I'll name the child Kaname to symbolize our connection. I know this child will come back with his father. Intriguing. Is that right here? Is this where I want to go? Uh, yes. Because I think, oh, uh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go the other way. Uh, the What we want to do is go to the area above the foyer. Foyer. Oh, yeah, she respawns. I forgot. I got to just run past her. But I wanted the diary, so I needed that. There we go. We're good. Kettle Chip says Kaname. We have not met Kaname yet. We have no idea who this character is. He's just allegedly a little boy. That's the first note that he's been mentioned in.
I don't remember why I was coming here. I thought there was a ghost fight, like, immediately, but I guess not. Huh. There isn't enough blood. Chi Gatarinai. My question is, what door did that open? I do not remember there being a, a specific door for us to try to find. Okay, here's here's the ghost battle. I think this is the one that killed me last time, wasn't it? Oops. I need to ration the the shotgun film. A little bit better. Oh, ooh, I missed the potato frame, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Woo! Scared me for a second. Boy, I really was at my wit's end last time. I used so much ammo just fighting the corridor ghost. Tafia says, the ambient noise in this game seems so similar to DMC3, making me think of it, and they could not be more different games. True, they are very, very extraordinarily different. This game is a little bit less stylish than DMC3. I'm just imagining Miku popping Devil Trigger. Clearing an entire room of ghosts because she held the button down long enough. <laughs> Uh, I can't go up here, can I? No, okay. Good Cat says, I don't remember DMC3 being full of tinnitus. To be fair, this game, the tinnitus in this game has, has toned down considerably compared to the first and the second. I don't want to fight you. I am very not in the mood to fight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, where am I going? Hmm. I can't remember. Can I actually go up here as Miku? I thought the door was already unlocked, but maybe it's a door that only Kay can go through. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just have to go around the other side. Yeah, chat this this weekend was was a good time I, d I didn't really do too much i'm trying to really take a break on the weekend so that i can you know more actively stream and you know just like not <laughs> not be exhausted <laughs> every single monday morning when i wake up last night i uh i watched the last of us episode two when it aired so that was a lot of fun and the night before we hung out in vr chat for a while uh which was great uh, so I've been I've been having a pretty good weekend all things considered oh Wait, I can't get back to the corridor. I was in Yeah, I can't get back to the corridor because uh, The other side of the doll altar the the doors like locked Where is this where is this ghost? I'm gonna take this picture <laughs> Be 
be more helpful if I knew like what exactly I was looking for here. There we go. All right, we got that. Not bad. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to go back up and then go around the long way to get back to the other side of the doll altar. Cause I wanna be back in that tatami room, I think. Check out the other side of it. Cause Miku wasn't able to go back through that way before, but then we opened the doors. Gotta be careful the juke, uh, angry comb lady. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think we're. Oh, oops. Which way was closed? Which way? Hold on. Oh, it's got to be right there, right? Excellent. Okay. On the candlelit altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm, purity stone blue. The stone has been polished to a sheen. Inside, I can see the ultramarine glow. There is an old book with a red cover on the altar. Red Diary 1. Amane led a man into the Kuze shrine. The man woke the priestess from her dream. The Kuze code must be followed. She must be punished by impalement. She must not be let go. Alrighty. Well, that's brutal. Hmm. So wait, I if so I have to find all the doll altars. Maybe there's one in there? Because that's still a hidden room, isn't it? No? Oh, Altar North. Oh, has Miku been to the Doll Altar East? I guess not. Yeah, this is not the same area. I went here with Ray. That was the last place I went to with Ray, I think. Candlelit Altar is a beautiful jewel the size of my palm. Purity stone green. Nothing else? Dang. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, I guess I can go the projection area because there's always film that spawns there. That'll be nice to grab. I guess we're going back to the bell hallway. Does that sound good to you, chat? I think I think that sounds good. Uh, 
I am not fighting. Yeah, no way. Get out of here. Is this the, uh, hallway? No, this is barred hallway. Oh, please don't tell me he's still following me. That's annoying. Oh, here is where the... There we go, I see. This is the area I went to last time that I found this at. Alright, here we go. Cool, I got everything I wanted. <laughs> without having to worry too much about it. And now we're back in the bell hallway, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, great, cool. Uh, now where do I go? Wait, isn't there the... Um, no, there isn't. I was thinking the passageway uh, that only Miku can crawl through, that Ray is too leggy to crawl under, but I can't remember where that is exactly. Can I go out? I can. Oh, okay, cool. Uh... Let's see. Where am I? Okay, I guess this is the direction I want to go. Yes, this is it. Okay. Oh, perfect. Is she the one singing? Is Kizuna the one singing? That is who that is, right? Kizuna, I think. Bonds? No, Kizuna is the maiden that's about to be sacrificed. The, the sleeping uh, maiden, I think. I see. A, I feel a breeze coming through the low corridor. It's pretty narrow. Maybe I can squeeze through. Alrighty. There's definitely going to be another. Yep. So annoying. Such an annoying character to fight. She like goes intangible when she touches my model because she like clips into me and I can't hit her when she does that. That's so awful. I have to walk towards her and then immediately start walking back. Nope, still not good enough. Alright, I have to use shotgun ammo on her because I cannot die. Give me just one moment. the fatal we'll see what the heck was that that was totally red uh. We, we we did okay. I still have two shots of 61. I have I, yeah, I have plenty of film now, so it's okay. He 
I guess if I put the camera down, I move a little bit more quickly, so maybe it's a little bit easier to like juke her, but I don't know. That seems tough. Oh, stone mirror. That's incredibly exciting. Pogs in chat for the stone mirror. Oh, it's another doll altar. What an inconvenient place to have a extremely important ceremonial room. On the candlelit altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm. Purity stone red. Okay. On the candlelit altar is an old book with a blue cover. Blue diary. My mother told me that I have an older brother. His name is Kaname, and he lives in the, a house on the outside. In the Kuse house, they throw away boys, so he was sent outside. She told me many times that this was a secret. My brother has the same earring as my mother. They're beautiful earrings that she got from father. Mother gave it to him so that no matter where he is, he can hear her voice. I wonder if he can hear my voice, too. I want to see him. Reiko was made into a priestess. I helped take care of the priestess. She tells me about the outside. She says when she talks, the pain isn't as bad. I'm glad I can be of some help. The priestess has an earring just like mother's. She says it was a present from a good friend so that she can hear his voice no matter where she is. I think that friend is Kaname. The priestess talks a lot about him. The priestess seems kind of lonely. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Blue says Kaname Madoka, waiting for the next film. I thought, I thought it ended. Is there another film coming? Wow. That series is just clinging to life, huh? The jewel that I found in the room with the impaled dolls should fit perfectly in one of the indentations on the altar. Okay. Uh, let's just leave, I guess. Oh, we're back in here. Perfect. Oh, F you. Get out of here. Oh, uh, I guess we can find out. Is she dead? Nice. Oh, I mean, I guess by definition, they're both dead, right? They're ghosts. Ooh, a double shot. Nice. Oh, that wasn't so bad. get some glamour shots with your good old friend Toast. Nice. We did it. Alright, is there anything in here for us? Uh, everything is so dirty I can't make out what it says. From here, I can see into the room downstairs. Maybe this was put here so people could observe what was happening below. The heart, my character's heart is beating really quickly, uh, or really deeply, but I don't actually see anything. So we're trying to go back to the tattoo room, like the room with the the hanging ghosts that I avoided last time, I think. Now that we have all the pieces. 
Because she said that they could all like fit on the altar or whatever. Which way do I go to do that? Yeah, this way. We're not doing too bad this time. Not that way. It's all the way through this hall hallway, I think, right? Yeah. Because I loop around uh, at the start to get the Type 14 film. So it should just be this way. I'm beginning to remember the layout of this house. <laughs> this is a check right here. Where is it? Uh, blind room. Yeah, it's through here. Kettle Chip says rack navigation skills have improved greatly since Fatal Frame 1. This is true. I do not. It's it's also nice that my map loads more quickly in this game than it did before. Before it was pretty brutal. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, herbal medicine. Wonderful. Um, which way do I go now, though? Yeah, tattoo altar. That's where I wanted to go. Oh, it's the room that's, like, kind of hidden. It's down the stairs. I forgot about this. Thought he something cool. Both of them died without a name. Anime oni san. Here they are. Okay. In front of a small shrine like altar, there is a mounted pedestal with four indentations. Beneath the pe pedestal, an ancient script is engraved. Between the four purity stones by the handmaiden song, subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. Uh. Is there like a thing I can read in this room? Oh, okay. This was not there before. Kaname snuck in with the people who came to ease their pains. He said he wants to see the priestess just once. It is against the code, but she is going to have to perform the rite of commandment soon. She won't be able to leave again. I want to help them meet just once. Kaname went into the shrine to the priestess's place. Men cannot go into the shrine. I'm sure the mistress will be upset. Okay, that did not help at all. Do I just have to put them down in the order that I had them? That I found them? Oh, no. Uh, it's like a song. Okay, that's the first line. What's The order that I got them was, what, light blue, green, blue, red? The song Miku was singing in the house. Yes, exactly. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. be able to enter from the upper level. Oh, it's the the bookcase. Move. What? Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's uses projectiles. And I can't see. Oh, 
Oh, I was like strafing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a busy performance. Where the heck did she go? Where'd she disappear to? I'm not quite sure how this charging mechanic works because I'm like, I'm holding the button, but it doesn't seem to be doing much most of the time. Okay, stone mirror, not bad. God, get out of here, dinky ghost. This is hard. It's like, I don't feel threatened, but it's like difficult to actually pin them down. I'm glad I conserved my ammo though. There we go. We did it. We got through. Miku's Dream, again. It's an old film in the camera obscura. Musty film. Oh, I have to go develop this. Oops. I forgot I took these pictures. weird ghost noise every single time I walk past there that I can't seem to find the source from. Kind of odd. So yeah, th those who've watched uh, some of the other games that we've played in this series, what is your favorite so far? I feel like this game is way more interesting than the others. Of course, the first one um, is a little bit janky and has like some janky charm to it. 
And the second game, I think story-wise, is like really interesting and it has a really cool setting. But in terms of like what this game is doing, I just I find it so much cooler. An image has emerged of the woman who was on all fours beneath the floor. I can't see her face. Was she someone who had gone missing too? Interesting. All right, let's look at the notebook. Maybe we can talk to Miku. Woman on all fours. An even older house lies inside the dream manor. Down in the darkness beneath the floor, I was attacked by a woman on all floors. Good cat says, I think this one is the most engaging. Yeah, I just, I think this one has like a little bit more of a story to it, you know? Had she gone missing, like Yoshino Takigawa? She spoke in a hoarse voice. Let me out, let me out, she seemed to say. But she just like trapped under the floor? That sucks. Shrine Maiden Girl. The girls dressed as Shrine Maidens who tried to impale me in the daydream I had inside the deserted house. Are they constantly impaling dolls in those small red rooms dotted around the manor? What about Amane? The name they kept repeating. Could that be the girl who was begging for help? Interesting. Very intriguing. It also says, I would, yeah, I would agree. I think three is the coolest by far. Two is really good and one still has merits. Yeah, I, I just, I think it's it's a really interesting uh, series because this, they came out during a time when video games were still evolving, like very quickly. Um, so <laughs> each one is just like a huge improvement on the last very directly. Taff says, missed FF1, but I'm enjoying this a little more, uh, maybe because how the horror gets broken up by the segments in the apartment. And Kat says, I think 2 felt creepier, but after a while, the endless gray-brown mansion leads to a brain glaze. Yeah, so that is my, my one complaint about this game, is that even though from a gameplay standpoint, the exploring this like jointed mansion is actually really cool, uh, visually speaking, it's like a little bit less cool J-horror than exploring like a whole village in the woods. Miku, Mafuyu. Miku? Oh, no, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Oh, I guess that's it. Let's go talk to Miku again then. I want to give her the photos to look into. <laughs> Kettle Chips says, making Miku research photos in an era before Google image search. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't just tin eye the photos. Uh, no reverse image for you. There's a letter on the kitchen counter. It looks like it's from K. Miku must have brought it in for me. Letter from K6. Why doesn't she just respond to him? Why doesn't she just like tell him like, hey, you died. Also, I'm ha like experiencing your dreams in this curse manner. We should probably work together. The cassette tapes I had restored are finished now, so I'm sending them. My tape player broke, so I can't listen to them, but apparently they were in pretty bad shape. So even though they're restored, they may be hard to hear. In the dream I had the other day, I saw Mio deep in the manor. It looked like she was after her missing sister, Mayu. I guess it has weighed on me. Uh, when I wake the pain and the tattoo spread, just like the story says, uh, if I don't hurry, I might also go missing, like the urban legend says. This may be it for my investigation. Once I get off the mountain, I'll give you a call. Regards, K Amakura. Uh, Good Cat says, K died. K didn't die. You died. Um, you being uh, Ray's fiance and K's like, co worker. The same dream, two and three. Here you go, Ray. I thought you might have a connection to the photo in the passageway. Interesting. Buried mummies. It's been reported that in process of rebuilding uh, Kukaiji Temple, which commenced last month, many mummies have been found in the walls of the hallway. 
In the walls of the area called the Shadow Hallway in Kukaiji Temple, there were stains in the shape of humans. But when that hallway was restored, someone noticed there was something like the root of a tree coming out of the wall. Digging it out, it turned out to be a mummy. In the other stained areas, many more mummies were found, and quite a commotion was raised. The Kukai Temple insists they are enshrined saints, but certain observers argue they may have been killed in sacrifice. Thanks! I'll just borrow this for a bit. <laughs> Imagine just borrowing, like, a newspaper scrap someone asked you for. It's like, I'll give this back to you. Your prized possession that I asked you to find. Many bones found. On the 8th, in a survey of an ancient castle ruins in the northern part of the prefecture, a large number of human bones were discovered in the ground. Stacked tombstones were excavated from the center of the castle, an area thought to be the courtyard. Bone after bone was discovered beneath them. All bones are thought to be from time to time the castle was... Oh, are thought to be, be from the time the castle was built. The burial clothes seem to indicate they are from laborers who built the castle. It is believed that they were buried after the castle's completion to protect the plan uh, of the castle or the lo location of treasure. Or perhaps those who built the castle were killed as a sacrifice. About that photo, I thought it may be similar to the legends of the Straw Dolls past in Tono. Anyway, it has something to do with folklore, so you might find something in one of Yu's books. Okay, that's a good point. Did research on the lullaby. Oh, nice. Legend of Song want 12 pages. Jesus Christ, this game will never give me a break. In the mountains of the Mutsu region, there is an old lullaby that was only passed on to certain villages. This would have been useful to have here before when we were doing the puzzle. Within the same mountain chain, the song The Sleeping Princess was only transmitted to a certain number of villages. The dissemination is thought to be dependent on uh, elements such as the village's roads and locations. As the usage of the word priestess implies, the song is thought to have its origins in indigenous folk rites, given its method of transmission. As for the lyrics themselves, the opening line, Sleep child, go to sleep, calls the child into sleep. The next part, if you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side, uses words like boat and the other side, which is suggestive of banishment and death, obviously. It can be taken as a stanza of the threatening song, which is to frighten the child into sleep. The bib you shall wear can be understood to depict you will be dressed up to go. After, should you fail to lie still, the inclusion of the frightening words you will be punished impresses admonition upon the child. Perhaps, as the once ceremonial song changed into lullaby, it metamorphosed into the threatening song so common in Yutsu area. Sleep child, go to sleep. Sleep child, go to sleep. If you should wake from your slumber at night, great wooden stakes shall pin you down tight. Gotcha. The second verse develops a very similar way. It makes use of the same elements. If you should wake threatens that if the priestess should wake during a ceremony, uh, they'll have their limbs pinned by stakes. These great wooden stakes may be a remnant of a religious phrase. At the last part, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too, there's a shift from a familiar story centering on the priestess to an uneasy end, both vague and large in scale. It is thought that this expresses religious fear, such as the dread of the underworld. Indeed. <laughs> Anything to give to her? Alright, same thing as before. We'll go develop the photos. <laughs> Good cat says go the fuck to sleep. Exactly. Children love being threatened to sleep. Oh, did I already develop the photos? I guess I did. Alright, now I need to go to use room, right? Read some of his books. Rifle through my dead fiance's stuff. Let's see. The bookcase, there's a book with a Buddhist image that resembles the Buddhist image in the photograph. Wow, it's amazing how much research will help you. Maybe you should do it instead of making your live-in housemaid do it for you. This statue is from a derelict temple in the Akita Mountains. 
It is standing upright, but seems to be holding something like reins in its hands, making it a very unusual Buddhist statue. The temple appears to have been neglected for many years, and both the ceiling and floor fell in. The books were completely decomposed. Upon investigation, a small amount of blood was found on the statue. There were also traces of the same blood on the floor of the temple. It appears some kind of folk ritual or sacrifice may have taken here. No oral tradition or documents related to the temple are left in the surrounding mountain villages, so the details remain a mystery. Interesting. In the bookcase, there's a photograph with scenery closely resembling the scenery in the other photograph. Ugh. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls they make from straw, earth, or cloth, and worshipping them as idols. The doll in the picture was reported by the uh, by an Iwate resident. It is called Kushimi, and when someone dies in the village, they weave the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. The doll is fixed into skewers and put before a shrine at the edge of the mountain. The doll is enshrined for up to one month after the death, and after that period passes, it is cast into the river behind the shrine together with various offerings. In this region's tradition, there is said to be a cave in the mountain connecting to the land of the gods. The dead who became Kushimi stand between the village and the mountain. They take upon the village's evil and head to the land of the gods. In a neighboring village, there is said to be a similar doll called Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young and is deified in the mountains. In one interpretation, both village and mountain have a protective deity standing in the border between people and gods. In another sense, burdening the dead with evil or deifying the spirit of the young in a mountain connotes human sacrifice. Alright, that's useful. Alright, I guess we just sleep again. To be clear, I'm I'm totally fine with reading the notes chat. I just it's when there's like 15 pages in a row and I get like seven of them at once. It's like just make them one big thing and edit them a little bit. There's a lot of repeated information in them. Sorry, I was drinking my water. <laughs> Itchy tasty, exactly. Be punchy about it. Uh, we have to listen to the two notes. Let's do that now. These are pretty interesting. They're like, these are actually pretty substantial. Oh, 
Okay, interesting. We got a little bit more info there, uh, specifically about the, the nature of everything that was happening like in the manor itself. That's kind of fresh, actually. Because <laughs> we, didn't, we, di we didn't know basically any of that. All right. Uh, uh, where do I need to go? I guess we'll just talk to Miku. I, maybe I can give her the photos now, right? Uh, okay, I guess not. Anything in use room? Why does Miku sound familiar? Uh, let's check actually. Miku Hinasaki. Okay, I just disabled, by the way, uh, good cat, I just disabled Nightbot's uh, annoying don't spam thing. So, there we go. Okay, that's good. Miku Hinasaki, let's see who plays her. Her Japanese voice actress is Wakusawa Rika. Let's Google this, Wakusawa Rika. That's an interesting name. Wakusawa Rika voiced uh, lots of characters in, uh, in... Oh, no, she's just in a few things. She's in Jikutante Genshikun, Pokemon, as a side character. She plays a character named Rei in Pokemon, a character named Isla in Tideline Blue, and, uh, and she plays El Eliza in Anne of Green Gables. Uh, she does sound familiar, I just I'm not sure I'm not sure why what I would recognize her from. Maybe she's in a lot of uh, a lot of other video games. Um, I'm not sure. It says that she actually uses a a different name for video games because in Fatal Frame Four, for whatever reason, she's credited as Liku Lika uh, Rikusawa, which is interesting. So, what did I do? I just I didn't even look at my. Look at what I was doing. Is there something in here? No. Anything in the closet? No. With legs like those, she would pierce right through that <laughs> drywall. <laughs> Don't believe for a second. We will head back to sleep. Still find it weird that she gave her fiance his own whole room like that. Like, he has a bed. Come on, girl. Oh, Mayu and Neo. Oh, this means we're playing as K. Ah! Gotta play the weenie man again. Neo. What 
Go Fatal Frame 2 trick of taking pictures of people. An image of something has been caught in the photo. Okay, cool. Uh, so she's uh, symbols of light and shadow. I knew it. It's going to make me redo this puzzle. Mio, you'll be okay. I'll be right back. Uh... Yeah, this is literally the same hallway too. We're in we're in the part of uh, this place that looks like what was it? The Kiryu Mansion, the Tachibana Mansion. Oh yeah, so I can't come down here because I need the crest. Let's look at our camera points. All right, so we have thirty thousand camera points for him. That give us some more sensitivity, which is important, and then we'll be able, we'll be able to level up hopefully uh, another time. Uh, right after the first maybe fight or two, he kind of racks up points because he has to attack things so many times, and like he gets his full powered shots off really like easily because he only has two little dinky. Uh, Charge slots. All right, let's go here. Hmm. What? what did I miss? Oh no, this is the spooky ghost, the one hit kill ghost room. <laughs> Kettle says there appears to be a red substance on the ground. Very mysterious. I have no idea what that could possibly be. All right. Mm. Is there another way out of this room? Am I crazy? I don't think so. Oh, there's this like weird little room that like had no purpose. Oh! Oh, nice. All right, well, we can level up now. That's cool. I think that's that's all there is in here. Interesting. This is the Osaka house. Storeroom. I don't remember. This this is not what this room was. I'm gonna come to. You. Okay. Interesting. I should not be wasting the film that I'm wasting. I'm dumb. I have 35. That's fine. Um, hmm. Oh, oops. <sighs> Go up the stairs? No. Staircase is broken and falling away. It doesn't look like I can get up from here. I'll have to look for another way up. Yeah, you will. Okay. 
guess we just leave. Nope. Nope, we are gonna have to fight something. Oh, it's her again. kind of easy. I'm not doing a lot of damage, but like actually chaining hits on her and stuff like is a particularly hard. There we go. Uh, I cannot remember what my uh... I can't remember what my special attack is or what the button I have to press to use it is. Oh, oops. I pressed the button from Fatal Frame 2. was his ability Oh, repel. Uh I don't know if that's particularly useful. No, pressure shot. That's a it's a strong shot. That's what it is. Gotcha. Okay. Uh I don't even remember how to use it though. <laughs> That's the problem. I think it's circle. I think I just pressed circle or maybe L1, but it didn't seem to go off, so I'll have to experiment with that. All right, follow the butterfly. All right, now we're in the Osaka house. And the thing about this house is that it's basically a remake of a house from Fatal Frame 1. <laughs> Red Notebook Part 1. Masumi, it's Miyako. I came to find you. Let's go back together. If we're two, maybe we can leave. If you read this, shout for me. Because I'm close. Stay strong. Okay, so these are the ghosts from... The, these Masumi and, and Miyako were the two hikers that disappeared, I think, in Fatal Frame 2. How much time has passed since I came into this village? Dawn never breaks. I'm sick of the dark. I'm going crazy. I want to leave. I want to see Masumi. Uh, this is a uh, a note that was in Fatal Frame 2. Yeah, and ooh, Ginger Key. Okay, are we going to fight? I missed my chance. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's save really quickly. It's been a while since we've done that. I was making a safety, uh, safety save there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she showed up as blue, so I just thought, oh my god, get away from me, lady. She showed up as blue, so I thought it was fine. Must follow our Gishiki. 
Ishiki being like uh, the the ritual duty or ritual responsibilities, I believe. Something is reflecting the light from the top of the small desk that looks like a sutra stand. Sunlight key. Okay, so we got the sunlight key. And this is just mirroring the twin room from Fiddle Frame 2 now. Something is reflecting the light from the top of the desk. Looks like a... All right, so we got the light and shadow key. We have everything. Oh, that was... Modote konai. Please don't come back, maybe? Couldn't hear the, the first word that she said exactly, but that's what it sounded like. Modote konai. Modoru, to return. Um, or to be right back. Konai. Uh, the negative version of to, uh, to, to like come to somewhere. Kudu. So in, in Japanese, uh, when characters in like anime and stuff, when characters are leaving the house, they'll say, itekimasu, which means, uh, like I'm going, but we'll come back. Itekuru can be the same, same meaning. Itekimasu means I'll be back later. You can expect me to, to leave the house, but I'm not leaving forever. It looked like there was a face on the wall. I'm gonna open the door and Mio. Uh, Mio isn't gonna be there again, just like the first, just like the last game. I knew this this death monster enemy was gonna show up. F you. What? I have to fight it though. Ah. Dang, this guy's brutal. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing is hard to fight. Where is he? Holy smokes. This is the final boss of uh, Fatal Frame 2. Am I just unable to take pictures of him? Where do I go? Will he attack me in here? Oh, I just I just have to survive. That's that's all it is. Gotcha. That was brutal. Can't see Miu in the shell uh, in the cell. There are no signs of a lock having been opened either. Perhaps she's behind the bookshelves inside the cell. We'll use the keys that we just got. Zuto uh, something. Well, we'll be together forever. That's basically what it's saying. Found a part for the camera obscura. Found the upgraded lens zero. Okay, this is what we want. Use this to inflict more damage than a normal shot. Takes three spirit points. Use L1 to operate. More spirit points than blast, but inflicts greater damage. Yep. We don't have the ability to do that big though because we have not upgraded uh, our uh, our storage capacity. Books are piled randomly on top of one another. Looks like someone was doing some kind of research here. All right, nothing for me to find, I don't think. Oh, Twin Shrine Maidens. Twin Shrine Maidens are sacrificed in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well. In this case, they're called the Altar Twins. The people of this region believe that twins were once a single being, which was split into two at birth. 
The ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the shrine maiden will gain the power of a deity. The older sister must uh, kill, uh, kill the suffocate the younger and then throw her into the hellish abyss. The suffocation part must refer to the most horrible part of ritual, uh, probably some kind of sacrifice. Kettle says uh, she's going to pull a Mayu. Very possible that she'll just be kind of uh, possessed and evil for the rest of the game. Who can say? It looks like there's an item there right on the ground when I go in, but I... Okay, I can't listen to him pant the whole time. I'm going to have to use some herbal medicine. That's fine. There we go. These puzzles are easy. I like those ones. Fun to play around with. Ah! I'm not going to give like a perfect translation here uh, because we've heard it all before, but she's basically saying, you know, like, hey, big sister, like, don't leave me alone. I, I, I never want to leave you alone again. We'll always be together. Like all this stuff that Mayu was saying before she's saying now. Oh my god, I thought I almost got the door glitch. Did you just see that? Did everyone else just see that? <laughs> that looked like we could have gotten the door glitch. Uh, this cursed area of this game. <laughs> Mio, there has to be some other way. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. Oh my god. Do I just have to survive again? Is that what this is? <sighs> nope. Nope. I don't think so. <laughs> Kettle says this guy was a one-shot kill last time. Be careful. Yeah, this time he is thankfully, mercifully not. Where is he? There he is. Oh no, I don't have any ammo of this type. Whoa. All right, let's see. Do I have... Uh, I have a stone mirror, so I should be fine. I would prefer to not use it right now, but at the same time, actually, I guess on the hierarchy, sacred water is less important, so Ooh, did I get it? Nice. Not bad. I didn't even waste all of my, uh, my nice, uh, my nice ammo on that. I don't think I think I have two shots left. Yeah, not bad. So we saved some type 90.
Is this the way I came in? Where's the door? Oh, okay, I can't go farther this way. All right. Oh, Hexo's here. Hey, Hexo, welcome. It's nice to see you. Smoky, sexy style. Smoking, sexy style. That was the style card in DMC. <laughs> when you get a triple S, yeah, smoking, sexy style. Oh, God. Get out of here, dude. He's still chasing me, I think. Back into the manner of sleep where the rope man can't get us. And that's Munakata, if I remember correctly. Munakata uh, became the Kusabi, and that's why he's the, the evil, the, the boss of the, uh, at the end of Fatal Frame 2. Old film, alrighty. Meemlow. You want to be let into that room? Everything I know about cats has told me. Yes, that is what she wanted. Hey, sorry, but would you mind answering the phone? I'm at a good spot now. I'm so happy Miku's finally standing up for herself. She deserves this. Uh, I want to develop the photo first, though, because there was that one time where I answered the phone and it immediately progressed. So I, I want to I wanna make sure I take care of this stuff first. Kettle says, Miku asked Ray to do one thing, and I ignore it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miku. Follow man from inside the closet of the main hall. Had he gone missing too, I wonder? Maybe now I have this photo, I can find something about him. Oh, Mayu's there. Show, shows two young girls inside the cell room, but back there was only one girl uh, sitting there. Back then, I could only see Mio. Yeah, so they literally are canonically together forever. The soul, their souls literally did merge. Like, that's always my issue with uh, like supernatural stories like this because once you once you actually make some things true, a little bit of like the morality and ethics of it all pops on its head, right? Yes, <laughs> All right, so um, basically just said, is this uh, Aso Yu's house? And then uh, she said, yes. And he said, hi, I'm Amakura Ray. Um, I was wondering if he was available. And she says, um, about that. Oh, I see Yu's... I'm sorry, I didn't know. I was doing an investigation. I lost contact with him. Um, about that investigation, I'd like you to continue investigating the manner of sleep. Why? I can't say. Just please. Uh... Can, is it possible for us to meet sometime soon? I think you, like you as in the person, um, 
I think this is like about him or or he might have had something to say like I can't I can't really speak about it but I have a feeling I'm not sure how to exactly translate that uh, verb that he used but these tattoos could they be a curse from the tattooed woman in the manor girl are you only just now putting this together are you for real right now all right when the tattoos spread when the woman catches me will I disappear like Yoshino Takigawa did and what of Mr. Amakura and Miku Cut your nails, girl. Miku takes care of washing the clothes, too. It's a real help. I've never been good at housework. She's been complaining these past few days that I'm a huge freeloader and I need to do at least one fucking thing in this house before she kicks my dirty ass to the curb. I can see my face reflected in the mirror above the wash basin. All right, I developed those photos. In the kitchen this time? Nope. Go talk to Miku and give her another job. I feel like we're making okay progress today. I, you know, I'm not sure how long this game is. I, f I feel like we're getting closer to the end, but if it continues for like another quarter of the runtime, like I wouldn't be surprised. What's up, Ray? Will she not take my pictures? Wanted to. There we go. Yep. <laughs> they were really pushing it in that last scene just barely not showing nip yeah it, that's kind of the direction these games go as far as i know i mean they've been getting kind of sexier and sexier um from the start oh yeah, they've been getting a little bit sexier as the time has gone on, but apparently, like, the fifth game is really horny. So, I just kind of expect that to be the norm at this point now. Alright. Let's do our best here. <laughs> Hexo says the fifth game is very wet. Oh no, Ray's in the cage now. The unleashing. This is interesting. Oh, there's like a whole second floor here. I did not realize. Oh, I can't actually walk around it though, can I? I should have switched. Oh, I also have the repel flash, which is good. Oh, and Ray, she has all the the bonus features too. I cannot save right now. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, 
Huh? Forgive me, everyone. That's what he says. What the? Dang, he reaches far. Something has uh, been caught on the photo. That's in that like stained hallway with the mummy, I think, right? Something will not be enough. Ashiranga Tarin. Tarin being short for Tarinai. At least I think that's what he's saying. Again, I can hardly understand the dialect that the, the ancient people in this game speak. Uh, which way do I go? Okay, nope. Trying to remember. That's over here, right? Yeah, so we have to go. We have to find a way all the way down there. Can I zoom out? Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll just have to go south, I guess. Can't remember. Is it this one? Nope. Next one. <laughs> Gwen says, you know, now that I actually pay attention to the map, I'm realizing how big the Manor of Sleep is. Yeah, this is a huge map. <laughs> it's like, I would argue, probably bigger and more complex than the map of, of Fatal Frame 2. Because it's all interconnected as well. That being said, I am actually really enjoying that aspect of it. I think it's it's really cool to navigate. I know it's kind of samey um, from like a viewer perspective, but like, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I know it's a little bit samey from the viewer perspective, but uh, I mean, Gwyn is not wrong there. This is, in fact, the Super Metroid of Fatal Frame. <laughs> There's the tatami room with the uh, um, stuff in it. It's right over here. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and grab the other... Uh, the other film as well and maybe grab the herbal remedy if I can swing that because there appears to be a herbal remedy oh, okay there appears to be an herbal remedy in the room near the comb woman no matter what And that is not up there. Uh, oh, maybe she can't access it. I don't remember where it is, uh, but regard, I guess I'll just go back. It's fine. I don't need to worry about it right now.
Ray's just walking at a leisurely pace. She is living the most carefree life imaginable. Nothing can get her down. Ben says, this has definitely been my favorite one to watch so far. Yeah, it's my favorite one to play so far as well. I, I really am digging this game. I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Did I say I have nine stone, uh, nine? Oh, I thought I had nine sacred waters. I was so stunned for a second. I was very impressed with myself. <laughs> Gwen says, Ray doesn't even notice the ghosts actually when she take pictures of them. It's all on accident. Yeah, I mean, in, in my mind, right? Like, she's not a good photographer. <laughs> Hexo says, I run faster back to bed at night in the dark when I think the demon is after me. Yeah, same. <laughs> Ah, oh, I missed the shot. Damn it. That's fine. Oh, it looks like a tree root, she says, when it's clearly a human hand. Uh... Part of the cock filling the seam is peeled away. It looks like you may be able to open it. There's no response. Yeah, well, obviously. in here it looks like a map hidden storage space under the floor is full of old carpentry tools they look as though they were well used at the time maybe they were used to build this house inside a box is a map with a mark on it when the shrine of the rift fails to stop destruction build the shrine of sleep and pray for the priestess to slumber to keep the rift from opening into the outside world the final command must be driven in where the shrine of the rift and the shrine of sleep connect okay what could be in the area shown on the map i wonder which Change upgraded lens. Okay, yeah. I, I must be getting close to the end of the game if it's already given me that. It's just, it's interesting because the, the upgrades here are actually a lot harder to afford. <laughs> hmm. How many can I hold right now? Three, that would allow me to do two power shots. That's gonna be a pretty good uh, use of our money, I think. Yeah, that's good. Motherfucker's gonna come back to life for sure. Wait, wasn't there an herbal medicine down here last time? Am I crazy? Making shit up. Aha, perfect. Okay, so some items do respawn between the, the chapters. It's good to know which ones do. I'll add that one to the list. Things to remember. All right, which way do I need to go? Yeah, this is the way I want to go. Okay.
I'm gonna save down here. Let's see where we're going. What the heck? Oh, this place is open now. There's nothing inside the bedding but a black human shaped stain. On top of the stain is a book. Alico notebook too. Uh okay. Um The pain etched into the priestess must have been very deep. The spread of the rift continues. We may not be able to stop it, even with the shrine of sleep. My body has been halfway engulfed by the rift. The misery surrounds me. It's not clear how many days have passed since the unleashing. The only ones left are the young handmaidens. I feel pity in doing so, but I will instruct Hisame to conduct the final impalement. We must not allow the rift to spread. Now that I recall, there was an echo stone earring in that man's ear. He could have been Kyoka's forbidden child. Perhaps he came back from the village down below? If so, then he would be Amane's older brother. How sorrowful. Wait, what? Why why do I have to just eat that? It's not letting me run away. Oh. Oops. I do not want to waste a stone mirror on this, but I'm probably stuck in here. It's amazing how much more damage she does. 910 points off of just like a single unshutter chance shot. Unbelievable. <laughs> I got like 10 grand points off that. Dang. That's not bad. Look at that. 16,000 already. We, had, we started with what? 18,000? That's not bad. We did an alright job there. Alright, let's see. What else can we upgrade? Don't need flash. That's fine. Yeah, that was incredibly easy as Ray. <laughs> oh, Apollo's here. Howdy, Raccoon. Sorry I'm late. How's the ghosties? They're doing good. We're doing alright. Wait, is this the way I wanted to go? I'm gonna, uh, no. Uh, oh, I remember where I was going. Oops. Killing me. I wanted to go down in towards the entrance, I think.
Anything in here? Any spooky ghosts? Nope. Oh. That's cool. Uh, what else is there in here? Is there anything here? Interesting. Wait, where am I? How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. Just I go through here. Ooh. Got a little lost there for a second, chat. All these camera angles. We'll do our best here. What? Ah! Is an old lady attacking me with like a grocery cart? A stroller? <laughs> What is she doing? Oh my god, she does damage. <laughs> that was brutal. Blow down, Granny. Oh, I just like can't do I can't do fatal frames on her because it just doesn't seem to count as her attacking. Oh, what the? <laughs> what in the world? What the? Did I just, did I just lose whatever? Huh. Do we need to, do I need to go back? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna beat her. I wanna see what the heck is going on. She just totally disappeared. Thank God I just saved. <laughs> Yeah, she came to literally just steal my stone mirror. What a bee. Alright, I got type 61. I can I can defeat her. I just need to remember I can't like fatal frame her because she doesn't really have fatal frames. She just runs into you and does damage by touching you. So as long as I just keep the damage up, I should be able to get her get her out. I'll save us some time really quickly. I want to beat her because I want to see if I get something for it. Wait, what? <laughs> Something was left behind where grandma was. Notched arrow key. Oh, okay, so we got the notched arrow key. Well, we did better that time. We didn't need to waste a stone mirror, I guess. That goes right here, doesn't it? Yep. Nice. Anything in here? Anything fancy? 
<laughs> Hexo says not hard candy. Yeah, it would have been nice if she gave me some Werther's originals, but she didn't really feel like sharing, it seems. Uh, I feel my heartbeat in my controller, which usually means there's ghosts around. But maybe there aren't any here. Oh, there's a stone mirror in here, though. That's nice. I'll remember that. Um, there's a stone mirror in the secret passage. Oh, is that Yoshino? It's Takigawa. Save me. Ooh, damn. I forgot she has these, like, ally ghosts. There we go. What did this get me? Small piece of paper has fallen where the violent ghost of Yoshino Takigawa was. Yoshino's photo. Photo showing Yoshino Takigawa while she was alive and a man who looks like her boyfriend. She must have been clutching it tight. The photo is marked with creases and wrinkles. Measure. Displays ghost HP. Oh, that's useful. That's awesome. That is super worth it. All right, we like that. That was cool. So was that all that locked door was for? Was just for fighting this ghost that I easily could have just like walked through this paper wall to get to? <laughs> I should have let her kill me so I could pick up the stone mirror, but that's fine. All right. We need to probably explore the area behind the door, like the seal that I broke. So it's going to be a little bit of just running, uh, running back to where we started in the, the garden. That's not so bad. We're cleaning up pretty well, I think. That's the exit of the Manor of Sleep. We don't want to go out there. Hmm. Is there an easier way to get back up? Just go up through the hearth room into the tatami room. Okay, yeah, we can just go up through here. I think, right? Yeah. Back in the Tommy Hall. Uh, which way do we need to go? Hmm. I'm just trying to remember what actually is upstairs. In all these places. Yeah. Right? It's this way? Am I losing my mind? No. Okay. Did I already get the stuff? Yes, I did, I think. Yep. Alrighty. Alrighty, chat. Let's go explore the other side of this house. Mm. 
No, not this way. The other way. Plus, I want to save. I want to get that save point. That's, like, right there. Miku unlocked this, didn't she? So we should be able to go in now. Yes. Where? Oh. That took her health down quite a bit. Come on. There she is. The UI is much more slick <laughs> now. It's much easier to tell what's going on at any given point. Next shot should kill, provided I'm not horrible at this video game. I, know, I am horrible at this video game. That's what that's what I just confirmed. Good for me. You win again, chat. Alright. Um Wait, am I in the right area? What is around here? Where am I going? Oh, okay, yeah, this area. Because we need to go to the, the area marked on the map um, that connects them. Thank God she doesn't have to redo that puzzle. Hate that thing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's just right here. Yeah. An image of something has caught on the photo. Okay, that was just back, wasn't it? <laughs> Pretty sure that area was just uh, literally in the rope room, wasn't it? Thought I saw the mirror maybe? Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Wasted my last type 61. That's a bummer. Not funny. Oh, she's the maiden that was like.
strangled. That's why her limbs are all fucked up. Got it. Because remember in the first game they like they did a ritual that like pulled a priestess apart. And that's that's what we just took the picture of, I think. Come on. There we go. Alright, not bad. Uh wasn't there something I need to take a picture of though? Yeah. Where is it? It's just up here, right? Oh. There's a body. <laughs> Kettle says, so you're saying I could be tall in the afterlife? Yeah, you just got to stretch yourself out. It's all good. Which way is this? Okay, right? Is there anything to pick up? Nope, nothing to do uppies on. Come on. Throw me a bone, am I right? Do I have, is she fighting me? She is. Crawling girl. I'm gonna one shot kill her with Ray. Watch this happen. I just don't know where she is. Where where is she? Oh. Oh my god, she's like a Junji Ito character. Get out of here. Ah. camera hadn't reloaded yet. Yikes. I guess I can repel ghosts too. I should use the flash a little bit more. Not cute. Not cute at all. Dang, she took hella damage from that. Wasn't too bad with Ray. It, she's still a little bit hard to to hit, but man, Ray cleans up with points though. Forty six thousand. Oh my god. I'll get that final upgrade and have uh, super high sensitivity, which is awesome. Anything actually in here? No. Is that it? Is that all this was? I got I got excited or something. I thought that I was like finding a new thing. Uh What was I actually trying to do? I guess I was trying to go back to the garden, right?
in here? Is this the room I'm looking for? Oh, it, this is open. Nice. Calico Notebook 1. One of the handmaids led a man who came to offer his pain to the Kuze shrine, so his tattoos have entered, or so tattoos have entered the priestess's eyes, and the doors to the Chamber of Thorns have opened. We should never have let a man enter the shrine. No matter who it was, we should have never engraved the priestess's empty eyes. Now that I have felt the pain of the holly as well, even I am not allowed outside. Before the rift that has spilled forth from the Kuze shrine spreads any further, we must find a way to shut the shrine within the rift. We must summon the shrine carpenters and seal the Kuze shrine. Many sacrificial pillars will be required. We should, we should have cast that man away just as we did when that male scholar who wandered here. I wonder if that was also... <laughs> Narik says, I'm having fun mimicking the ghost death whales. Hey, you're going to scare your neighbors. You're going to make them believe that they're haunted. Oh, I got the zero lens. Heck yeah. Now we know what we can do. Tools. Oop. Camera. Okay, because she can switch. It's just going to be zero and then slow and then blast because that's all I have for her. Uh, tools. Actually, I'm probably just going to... Uh, I guess I can keep blast there for, for no reason other than I guess it's cheaper. So if I'm in a crutch, I can use it. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and there's herbal medicine in here, isn't there? All the way on the other side. I don't know if this one respawns. I think maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, sweet. I can never remember which exit is the exit I actually need to take out of this room. Is it this way? Am I? No, I'm crazy. I'm tripping. That's not an exit. <laughs> what am I doing? So wait, can I not go out this way? Do I have to just go back? I guess so. All right, I just have to go the long way. Oops. That's my fault for being inattentive, but I'm glad I came here anyway because I managed to get the uh, the lens. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not going to fight you, dude. Dude, you're not worth the film. This way? Get out of here, you jabroni. He was like really just right there, huh? Not too bad. I did an alright job there. Alright, we're making some expedient progress. This isn't too awful. How long have we been streaming so far? Two and a half hours? We've gotten a few chapters done? That's not bad. I'm beginning to think we're not going to finish it tonight, but I don't know when we will finish it. I truly can't tell exactly how far into the game we are. 
because like it feels like we're near the end with Ray, and maybe with Miku because she has like oh smack my microphone uh maybe with Miku because she can actually like traverse the whole like area now but K I've played as like what twice <laughs> like he doesn't have any abilities I am not in control. Now I am in control. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Chitose is over there, right? Is that her name? Okay, I can't actually go over there. Huh. Ominous. Photo uh, development time. Imagine actually just sitting on the line for this long, like truly just waiting. It must be a really important phone call. The image just appeared of a woman hiding in a closet. It looks like the crawling woman. I wonder if I can find out anything about this photo. Rope wind, uh, winding ritual. Strangling ritual, as it was called in the first game. Living with Ray would truly be the, the worst thing. So insufferable. <laughs> Even the cat is done with her shit. Give. Sounds like she's saying give it back, give it back. I don't know why she thought that was Miku though. Ah. Uh, do you have that dream again today? Yes. I see. I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. Just what happened in that manor. Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come into the light. As always, I want to talk to Miku. I want to explore the house a little bit. I need to give Miku those pictures and or get whatever pictures she provided uh, the research for. Oh. They couldn't even animate her closing the book or putting it away. They just animate it being closed and then disappearing. Miku. Here you go, Ray. The picture of the woman resembles the one in this story, so I gathered some data on it. The Crawling Woman. Associated with disappearances in spirited ways, there's an urban legend called the woman who crawls on all fours. In close, dark spaces like under the floor or in the ceiling or closet lurks a woman that crawls out every night, cursing bitterly. That's the gist of it. 
Many urban legends of this type are based in fiction and real incidents. As the story spreads, images people fear are added, and it becomes more legendized. The word that you're looking for, translator, was mythologized. For example, the story, The Woman Who Crawls on All Fours, is said to be based on the following disaster that actually occurred years ago. One month after the disaster, a woman's corpse was found in a ditch several miles from the disaster site. Evidence showed she was alive up to a few hours before she was found. It is thought to be an exaggeration since the story became mythologized, but several people who lived where the woman was found along the route to the disaster say the site they, uh, near the disaster site say they heard a knocking sound in the night. There's also another version of this story that has been passed on. The part about the woman lurking in the floor or the ceiling, seeking help every night, is the same, but in this one... The ending is that if you peer into the ceiling or floor, she will attack you. Would have been good to know. Missing in Minakami. By last month, two people had gone missing in the Minakami Dam area. Now yet another case has been reported. The police have been called in. The missing people are Tokyo resident Shizu Amakura and her eldest daughter, Mayu. Wait, what? Shizu went missing? On summer vacation, Mayu visited the village near the dam with her sister Mio. Yep. Oh, they were only 15 in Fatal Frame 1. Damn. The two went missing one week earlier, but recently Mio was found alone collapsed in the middle of the forest. Mio was taken to the hospital, and though there was nothing wrong with her physically due to extreme fatigue, she is not in a condition to talk. The police are waiting for her to recover before questioning her. This was published two months ago, but her name is Amakura, so she, could she be Kay's niece? Thanks. I'll hold on to it for a bit. It says she disappeared. Cave must really be worried. Interesting. Here you go, Ray. I thought this might have some connection to that photo of the Shrine Carpenter. The Shrine Carpenter is a carpenter who specializes in building temples and shrines. Gee, thanks. They were formerly called Temple and Shrine Carpenters. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's going to be some Japanese, like, kanji play happening right here, probably. Like, they probably are just specific terms that, like, changed over time, and thus the English translation doesn't make any sense. It's fine. But when Shinto and Buddhism were separated in the Meiji period, and the anti-Buddhist movement began, temple was removed from the name, and they became shrine carpenters. Amongst themselves, they said building a mere house degrades one. But when they did not have a building contract that uh, they would work in farming or the like, and with only limited site experience, refine their technique and skill. There were carpenters who only served one shrine, and special techniques, methods, and ways of mystic construction were passed on to that master builder. This photograph is of the framework with the carpenters lined up and the master builders at the center. As in the picture, they wore white clothing and a court hat for the framework raising ceremony. But in old times, they would wear white clothes during work as well, as it was said that a carpenter must worship the gods and Buddha. Hatake-sama. While this dress expressed piety, it may have also been a way for shrine carpenters to assert their pride and skill before others. This combination of snake and holly in this tattoo is primarily found in northeastern Japan. That makes sense. This design is chronicled in the old northeastern Japanese folktale, Tattoo Maiden. A girl loses her lover, and before he fades from her memory completely, she takes the pain of her remaining love and imbues it in a holly tattoo. If the girl falls in love once more, again she loses her lover, she engraves a tattoo of her love into her body again. This time she engraves a divine snake, so her lover's spirit will arrive safely to the place of the gods. As the girl repeats love and loss, her skin grows filled with tattoos. She cannot tolerate the pain of the tattoos, and it takes its toll on her sanity. Meanwhile, her heart is eaten by the snake engraved on the tattoo. This legend is widely known on the plains, but depending on the region, slight differences appear. In the mountains, the following changes can be found in the story. This is called the Tattoo Master. A girl who lost her lover goes to the Mountain Master to relieve her pain, or to confide in her. On hearing of the girl's pains, the Master engraves a snake and holly on her own body and assumes the pain. The villagers, hearing of this, visit the Master one after another to relieve their pains as well. Eventually, the master's entire body is covered with tattoos. She who took on so many pains gets trapped in sleep from the pain of the engraved tattoos and cannot wake. Finally, she is eaten by the tattooed snake. The story has one more version with an even more tragic ending. It is likely a story designed to teach a lesson. The master covered in tattoos goes as far as to tattoo Holly on her eyes. Then her tattooed eyes turn to mirror, and the pains engraved on the master are repelled back to the people who caused them. In the end, every last person is eaten by the snake. The part about the turning to mirror may come from how snake's eyes were traditionally thought to resemble mirrors. 
Given the change in the story, it appears that when the Tattoo Master Legend of the Mountains spread to the plains, it became more fable-like. The story, with its priestess-like element of the Master, was corrupted into a city girl's foolish love story. As far as the meaning of the snake and holly tattoo in the folktale, the holly tree represents the pain of love for the dead and the pains of the heart. The snake is employed here in the divine sense, and its import seems to be tied to love and pathos for the dead that devours those including the girl and the master. They look like the kind of clothes her family and lover were wearing. They were all riding the same plane. She sounds so defeated whenever she asks Ray if there's anything else she can do for her. For some reason, I'm so tired. It's cold. Oh, <laughs> I would be pissed if my boss showed up in my room while I'm in my jammies to give me work. Yeah, when you think about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely unjustified. I think this is going to be the end of this for tonight. I think we've we've reached just about three hours. We have a pretty good uh, pretty good streak here. Made it through, preserved quite a bit of resources. Actually, managed to get that stone mirror for at least two of our people. So that's not bad at all. Uh, I think overall we're in a good spot to just call it a break. Uh, we will pick this back up tomorrow, which will be pretty fun. Um, yeah. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. I know the stream is ending a little bit short today, but uh, I just think this is, a, this is a good point to, to cut it off. We don't want the next, or how do I say this? I don't want to play a bunch of the game, think that it's not over, and then tomorrow start the stream and only play for 30 minutes. <laughs> so uh, so we'll, we'll just try to break it up into maybe a little bit smaller chunks these next few days. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for spending your, your mid-afternoon, evening, early evening with me. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for more Fatal Frame. Alrighty, peace out, folks. <laughs>